This is Crash and it's a new command line AI that works just like Cloud Code, just like German AI and the other AIs that works in the command line. Here they're saying it's about model, which means you can choose from a wide range of AIs that you can use in this command line AI. So you can choose a wide range of LLMs or add your own via OpenAI or Anthropic Compatible APIs. They're also saying it's flexible, which means you can switch between LLMs and mid-session while preserving context. They're also saying the session based, maintain multiple work sessions and also contexts per project. All these are what it can do or how it works. And they're saying it, it works everywhere. First class supporting every terminal on Mac OS, Linux, Windows, it works everywhere. And it also it is extensible, which means you can actually add compatibilities via MCP, so more MCPs. If you want to install it, you can find your prompt, your, your prompt here and copy it. I'm using Windows, so I can just copy this. This is what I have here. And so for me to install it, I'll just press enter. Here it's done downloading and it's added for the full packages. To run it, just type crash and press enter. And boom, as you can see here, it opens this beautiful, good looking command line interface. I think this is uh, beautiful. The colors, I love the colors, I love everything. And here it's asking me to choose the model that I want to, to use. So I can just use the arrow button on the keyboard to choose any of the models that I would want to use. And here you can choose from a range of different models to work with. Let me try. Gemini AI 2.5 Pro. Just click there. And here I will have to enter my Gemini API key. So I have the API key. I'm not going to show you yeah, because I don't want you to use my API. I'll get my API key and paste it here. It's just going to verify this and it says Google Gemini AI key is very, very dated. So right now here, I have this project and I want to open Crash in this project. So what I can do, I can just right click here and I'll open with the terminal. And when I open with the terminal here, it's going to open the command line interface. And here, if I want to run it, I can just run Crash. Just type Crash and press Enter. And it's going to open just like this. And here, the first thing that it asks you to do is would you like it to initialize this project when i initialize your code base i examine the project and put the result into a crash.md file which saves as a general context and this is very powerful because it's different to just these other ones you know yeah uh, it, it it does this it asks you if you want it to create a context of your code base or whatever folder you opened it in would you like it to initialize? If you would like to do that, just press enter here, but you can switch between these two answers. So it's yep or nope. I want you to do that or just press yes. And here it's reading all the files I'm sure in my code base. Wow, you see this interface here, it looks beautiful and clean. I think this is powerful. You see what it's doing here? It's creating the crash MD file. And first it's going to look for the existing crash to MD. If it's there, then it's going to skip it for any of these rules. This is clean. It's also just beautiful. And here it's saying permission required. What is the permission required to write? Here, this is beautiful. The interface is just so clean and awesome. I think this is just the future. Try this out. It's free. Come to Google and search for Crash CLI. And you're going to see the first link here. Just click on that. When you click on it, it's going to take you to the homepage for Crash, and it's done by Go. It's a very fast language when it comes to developments. So use that, and you can see your commands here for installing it. I think this is awesome. It's amazing. It's just clean. The powerful thing about this is a multi-model AI, which gives you ability to work with any AI, any AI model that you are comfortable with. If you don't think uh, uh, Google German AI Pro is not good enough, you can choose the other models, the other AI models. So I think this is just awesome compared to these other ones. If he, Gemini AI also was able to do something like this, it was going to look nice. You see, the scrolling here can scroll up or down, and it's fast. And here it's telling me I have created the crash MD file and added the crash 
dot crash uh, file to the git ignore i'm now done with the request good for instance you can just ask it about what this project is about what is this project about what is this project about and here you can see these <laughs> I don't know if it's the animation or what, but I think this interface is clean and just smart. That was fast. Here it's saying, based on the file structure and code, Zamcat appears to be a comprehensive e-commerce delivery platform, similar to services like Instacart or Uber Eats. We're living in a time where AI is just everywhere and it's accessible to anyone. So there is no reason for you to like say, ah, oh, I don't have enough tools. I don't have the correct tools for me to achieve my goal. This can do anything. These AIs are equipped to work for you. You can do anything with these, not just writing code. You can do anything. You can, it can help you plan your business. It can help you execute your business. It can help you do anything. You just have to know and learn how it works. If you want me to make a tutorial on how you actually on how I use these LIs to write and to do to, to plan, please just leave a comment down in the comment section. I will respond with a video showing you exactly how I use these AIs. I think these are powerful and they equip us to work even smarter and even faster. If you are there sitting and complaining that AI is going to steal my job or anything yes it's going to do that if you don't keep up but if you're smart enough you're going to learn how to use these tools to your advantage and make money you can build websites you don't need to know everything because these understand things you just need to give it context and it does they do 90 percent of the job all you have to do is just 10 percent maybe polishing things out and it's going to be awesome so if you love working with the CLIs, try this out. I think this is powerful. I think this is green. I also think it's amazing. So I want you to try it out and tell me what you think down in the comments because I think these AIs are here to help us, to empower us. We're not supposed to be scared of them. We're supposed to be very happy and excited and also jump on this opportunity of using these AIs. If you are scared, you're going to be left behind. Use them to your advantage. Learn and adapt to the new normal ais are not going anywhere any ai that you see popping around here and there not going anywhere they are here to stay and every day you're going to be seeing ai and so if you don't adjust and adapt to the new normal you're going to be left out tell me what you think about this crash command line interface ai and tell me is it fast compared to the other models and tell me what you think about it being a mouth model AI which supports all these environment variables that you can use here. So tell me what you think about it supporting all these features here compared to the other ones which are just limited to its company. I think this is powerful. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you want me to make more videos about these other CLIs, tell me also in the comments. I'll be able to respond to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.